Today we're doing pregnancy yoga to prepare your mind and body for birth. This class is beneficial for all trimesters as it's never too early to start preparing your mind and body. These are also the poses that I did daily during my third trimester, which I believe were key in helping create my positive birth where I coped the entire way through without even thinking to ask for any pain medication. I do have the option to use a stability ball or birth ball for a few of the poses. However, if you don't have a birth ball, I also give standing options where you don't need any equipment. At the end of the class, we're gonna do a short ice meditation to prepare mentally for labor. At that time, you can grab some ice cubes or you can simply practice your breathing techniques with me. If you're watching this video when it's published, I am live in the comments, so come and say hi. Let's start on all fours, mobilizing our spine. If your wrists are bothering you, you can place a little blanket underneath your wrists. Let's exhale, rounding out for cat. Inhale, tipping your tailbone up, looking up. Exhale, round out. Let's shift our weight slightly back. Inhale, keeping your baby pulled in here as you inhale. Exhale, round out. Inhale, looking up. Good. Coming back to a neutral spine. We can take some nice big hip circles. Going the other way. to all fours. Let's walk our hands forward, keeping our hips high in the air. Moving into puppy pose. You can also place your forehead on a pillow here. Uncomfortable to be right on the floor. Pulling in your baby, slight lift in your back so you're not dumping through your lower back at all. Armpits reach down towards the ground. Good, this is a helpful position for finding optimal fetal positioning for your baby to help avoid back labor. We can walk our hands back in. Let's come up to kneeling and take a lunge here. Let's rock a few times in kneeling lunge. This is also really helpful to do during labor to get things going. Pressing into your front foot, let's switch to the other side. back to kneeling pose coming through all fours let's walk our hands back into puppy pose let's take a big deep breath into our side and back ribs releasing as you breathe out Good. We can lift our head and walk our hands back in again. Moving back into our kneeling lunge. Shifting our hips forward. Let's take a nice side stretch over our front leg. Exhale, coming up. Shifting to the other side. Pressing your back knee into the ground and dragging it forward slightly so you're not going too deeply into the stretch. Reaching over. Exhale. 
exhale, pull your baby in, coming up. Shifting back to kneeling in all fours. One last puppy pose. Walking your hands forward, spreading your fingers. Let's walk our hands back in. We're gonna practice some internal rotation so we can pick our feet up and then internally rotate our thighs as we bring them out to the side and then bringing them back in. So internal rotation is gonna open the outlet of our pelvis as well as an anterior pelvic tilt. So moving into a little bit almost of cow pose. And this is going to be ideal for pushing phase, opening up the outlet to get baby out. And let's move back in. Internal rotation, slight pelvic tilt. Back in. Good. A couple more times with your breath. Now let's work our deep core muscles. We can tuck our toes. We're gonna to press into a bear hover. So as we exhale, you're gonna pull your baby in, shrinking your belly, pulling your baby to your spine, and then slightly lifting your knees. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release down, big inhale into your side and back ribs. Exhale. Lifting off again. Five, four, three, two, one. Releasing down one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Amazing job. Let's grab a quick sip of water. Let's find our way up to a standing position, however is comfortable. We can bring our feet wide apart, externally rotating our legs. We can bring our hands up for goddess pose, opening up through your pelvis, knees pressing towards the back of the room. Exhale, coming up, inhale down, exhale up. Again, inhale down, option for a pelvic floor contraction here. Exhale up, let's do one more. Good, you can turn your right foot to the side of the room, coming into warrior two, relaxing your shoulders down your back. Another breath here. You can take your left hand, place it on your baby. Reverse for peaceful warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Moving back and forth with your breath. Let's turn our hips to the right side, coming into a high lunge. Arms can come up. Let's straighten our legs 
and then coming into our high lunge, moving into goal post with our arms. Straighten and lunge, good. Let's hold here for three more breaths. Releasing out. Let's turn to warrior two on the left side. Feeling open through your groin. Tipping back for peaceful warrior, ballooning out through your side body. Exhale, pull your baby in, warrior two, moving back and forth. Inhale, reach, exhale, coming up. Let's turn to the left now, coming into our high lunge. Straightening both legs, using your back muscles to pull your elbows down and back, coming into goal post. And again, moving with your breath. Holding here for three more steady breaths. Good. Let's step to the top of our mat. We can have our feet just a little bit wider than hip width distance, especially if your belly is getting bigger. You can move your feet wider apart to make room. Let's sit back into chair pose. Lots of length in your spine. Exhale, coming up. Take a breath. Good. Releasing down again. Option for a pelvic floor contraction here. Exhale, coming up. Let's move with our breath. On this next one, let's hold down. Shoulders are rolled down your back. Beautiful, release, let's shake it out. If you have a stability ball or a birth ball, you can grab that, otherwise we can come to a standing pose. Let's take a gentle bend in our knees. We'll do some hip circles either standing or on the ball. It's nice big circles. Let's go the other way.
good. We'll move to some pelvic tilts. Again, you can be on the ball for this. On an exhale, bring your tailbone under and then extend out. Good, now we can move side to side. Now we can make some figure eights. Let's go the other way. Good. So if you have your ball, we can move into yogi squat and you can drape yourself over your ball. Otherwise, we can take our feet just a little bit wider than hip width at about a 45 degree angle and slowly bend coming into yogi squat. If this doesn't feel good for you or you have prolapse or another condition, you can also do butterfly. If your heels pop off, that's okay. You can put uh, blankets or toilet roll uh, paper underneath. Steady breaths. During my pregnancies, I tried to do a deep squat for at least three minutes every day. Many places around the world, squatting is a part of daily life, but in North America, when we use chairs, it's often very difficult for people to get into a deep squat. So you can start with a short amount of time and work your way up. It's so beneficial for opening up the pelvis, especially the inlet, engaging baby. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Pressing your knees. Pressing your elbows into your knees, sitting up nice and tall. You can either come back up through standing or just place your fingertips ahead, slightly shifting your weight forward. We're going to make our way down onto our side now. If you have a wedge or a little blanket, you can put it underneath your belly for a little bit of extra support. Let's straighten out both legs and then we're just gonna move the top leg out of the way. So it could be in front or it could actually be like a kickstand behind. Let's flex our lower leg. We're gonna work our adductors, which are part of our pelvic floor that often forget, get forgotten about. Let's lift it up and down. On this next one, let's hold here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, release. And let's bring it up, pulsing. Releasing down. Now we can bend both legs. We're gonna work on our internal rotation again. So we can bring our ankle up and down, good. Really getting that ankle up there, good, release. 
Let's take our ankle in our hand for a nice quad stretch while we're here. Knee reaches away from you. Good. And we can grab behind our knee. Let's do a couple of hip circles. We can make our way to the other side. Let's stack our hips, straighten our legs. We can get that top leg out of the way, flexing our bottom foot. And we'll lift 10 times, squeezing your inner thigh at the top. On our next one, let's hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good release. And let's come up pulsing. Amazing. Release down. Let's bring our knees in and bent together. And let's lift our ankle up and down. Last one, good. We can move into our quad stretch here. Taking some deep breaths. Circle our hip. Good, release. Using your arm, let's push our way back up. We can come back to all fours. Let's tuck our toes, moving into our first downward dog. We can walk out through our heels. You can shift your hips back and forth. Take whatever movement here feels good. If your wrists are bothering you, you can also be down on your forearms. releasing your knees back down. Let's move back onto our glutes for butterfly. If you wanted to put a block or a blanket underneath your sit bones, you can. Let's sit tall. If it feels good, you can also hinge forward gently. Relaxing all the tiny muscles around your pelvis and your pelvic floor. Inhale, let's come up. You can take your right leg out and let's stretch over to the right. Pulling your baby, exhale, coming up. Taking your left leg out. Good. 
good. Exhale, coming up. Let's bring both legs out. Again, not stretching too deeply, just a gentle feel-good stretch. Sitting tall. And if it feels good, you can slightly hinge forward. Feet are flexed, legs are activated. Coming up, we can bring both legs in. We're gonna do a short ice meditation, which is gonna help us prepare mentally for labor and birth. So if you want, you can grab some ice cubes or a bowl of ice that we're gonna hold our hand in while we practice our breathing technique. The most helpful breath I found for coping through a contraction was sort of a mix between ujjayi and J breathing. So ujjayi breath, which I was familiar with from yoga, it's sort of like a Darth Vader breath where you go as if you're trying to fog up a window so you have a slight constriction of your throat except that your mouth is closed. So And then J breathing is where on an exhale, you're breathing down and your body is sort of supporting your uterus pushing. You're not bearing down, but a low breath down. So we're going to take our ice now. We're gonna place our hands in the ice and then once it starts to get uncomfortable, we're gonna wait for one minute, which is about the length of the contraction towards the end when things are getting difficult. So I'm gonna put my hands in and we can start practicing our breath. So steady breaths. Starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable now. Okay, I feel uncomfortable. Let's start the timer. Keeping relaxed through your pelvic floor and your body. Just 10 more seconds. Good, release. You can dry your hands off. Amazing job. Let's find our way into Shavasana. If you wanted to grab a bolster or pillows, you can. Finding a comfortable position, placing your hand on your baby. Feel your body relax and melt into the ground. Feeling heavy. All your muscles are relaxed. Your jaw is relaxed. Your pelvic floor is relaxed. Your jaw and your pelvic floor are connected. So it's helpful to relax. Separate your jaw slightly.
trust that your body knows how to birth your baby. Your job during labor is to simply relax and let your body labor and birth your baby. continue to rest here or let's circle our ankles and toes wrists take any final stretch that feels good you can come up to a sitting position namaste to you namaste to the babies you did an amazing job. I hope that your body is feeling good and that you're feeling more confident about your upcoming birth. It's normal to be nervous about your birth and people will sometimes try to share scary stories with you. However, you are preparing your mind and body. I have literally heard thousands of positive birth stories now and I believe you can create your own positive birth as well. If you haven't seen it yet, I will link to my video on 15 steps to prepare for your positive birth as well as another video on how to breathe during labor and birth, and it gives you a few more options than the ones that we talked about today. If you found this video helpful and to support me, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell.